the good coaches are not easy to play for, they are demanding. When she's tired of repeating herself, I guess, you come to the door and you read it. The, the one I heard a lot is um, the uncoachable players become un <laughs> unemployable adults. I think she used to talk about me in a, a shady way, but it's okay. <laughs> Sierra is one of the most um, talented women's basketball players I've ever seen play the game, regardless of the level, uh, the school, the team. She nice stutter step, step back for three, it's on the way and it's good, count it. She's just got it. I mean, she's a five foot ten point guard that can play any position on the floor. Sierra Johnson drops it down underneath Ryer back cut. Being one of the first girls to sign in my class at Blunt, a national letter of intent, I was just happy. I was excited. I thought I thank God all the time. It was just a good feeling, you know, especially being where I'm from. When she first got here, you know. I think she was probably a little upset because she was supposed to be at the University of Alabama. I just thank God for that feeling because where I was heading, I was heading for pure disaster. My mindset was all messed up. I thought I was just big head. I was going to Alabama and he humbled me real quick and he gave me a feeling that I never wanted to feel again. So therefore I never want to fail again. Body's going to foul her. She can catch her here so far all the way to the And a steal here Johnson one on one against Gay all the way late. I knew she was the best player in the country before they ever gave Johnson. her the award. Three. I didn't see another here. player Johnson with the ability that she had. I was just hoping that it would be recognized. Me and Madonna really set that stone this year cuz I had a better chance of winning this year. So we set what I had to do um, personality wise, point wise, academic wise. We knew what I had to do to get there. We're very strict here. Um, you're going to go to class. You're going to be on time. Uh, you're going to act, dress a certain way. You know, I have my standards and I don't bend. And it's up to these kids to come up to it. But, you know, my standard is not anything that should be uh, uh, too difficult. It's just the level that you have to be at to be successful in college and at this game. You can't be a bad coach with all the, you know, the 76 and two records. You can't be all that bad. So I had to like adjust to her and actually listen to her because she know more than I do. I had to understand why she was doing it. I had to understand her culture style. I had to understand she only wanted what's best for me. And the things that I was doing before wasn't going to make me successful at the next level. Sierra is a perfect example of how junior college can work for you through athletics. She came in as a non-qualifier, and she did everything she was supposed to do. She got her classes done. She put it, you know, she put all the work in on the basketball floor. Uh, we provided her plenty of opportunities, you know, with, with the, the amount of games we played and scrimmages and, and the tournaments that we went to to get better, to be exposed, and um, it all worked out for her. And she's graduated. And she's headed on to play for the University of Alabama. I used to think that JUCO was for people that you know didn't have the talent level to make it to D1, but being here actually proved me wrong. It's just for people that want to better themselves, a second chance. That's where you're granted a second chance, and I'm glad I got my second chance.